December 1974. The Arafura Sea, 700 kilometers north of Australia. A tropical low intensifies into a cyclone. On Saturday, 21st December, it is officially named Tracy. During the next three days, the cyclone continues to intensify and travel an erratic course towards the Australian mainland. Meteorologists track the cyclone by radar and hope it will change direction as it approaches the coast. Cyclone warnings are issued regularly. In Darwin on Christmas Eve 1974, the 40,000 people of the city prepare for Christmas festivities, not realizing what devastation and heartbreak Cyclone Tracy will cause in a few hours early on Christmas morning. Good day everyone, my name is Tricky James Fountain 4, also Wiki Wackens 446 on our last play it. How are you going? Welcome back to All Quiet on the Western Front, Part 10. Okay. Please stand by until I get into it. And okay, here we go. Since the operation, he, he's in a terrible state of mind. He hardly speaks to me anymore. There is always such a reaction after an amputation. Always. Now, stop worrying. You're one of the lucky ones, Paul. Albert you saw out your leg. Go, the amount of pimple you think news. get rid of per you day loses the arm, leg, the sight, or worse. Go to a sleep that we never can you never can wake up from. How do you feel? Don't waste your time, Paul. Oh, but they're giving me 16 days convalescent leave. I'll be going home. They'll be sending you home, too. Albert, is there anything that I can get you? A gun. Pardon? A what? You want to get me something? Get me a gun. Are you going to get me a gun or not? No! Don't talk nonsense. No. You've talked sense. You just got owned, mate. I'm sorry. Tank engine. A little more carriages than a normal tank engine you carry. Walking through the streets of Berlin while it sings.
you tell us you were coming? Mother! Mother! Off he goes again. Crying. <coughs> he holds his front, but it comes to the home front, he can't. the cancer again. God. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Hang on, I'm gonna check the time now. Jesus, it's been first six fifteen since I Are you checked it. Enough where you are. Well, not always enough, but we manage. Oh, shut up, fine. This is very bad thing. No, not so bad. Heinrich Bredemeyer was here and said it's terrible out there with the gas attacks and all the rest of it. Let's just talk. Just talk. Look at me. I'm well and fit, aren't I? Yes. Mm. Just trying to lie so your mum so your mum might be worried. I still don't understand why you want to take off your uniform. It's just more comfortable this way, Father, that's all. But I I want to show off our soldier boy to the fellows at Maxwell's. in a way, Mr. Zahn. Have a cigar, my boy. No, thank you. If you're old enough to kill Frenchmen, you're old enough to smoke. <laughs> it's a bad habit, Mike. 
Another beer for our young warrior. What's the spirit like out there, Paul? Excellent, huh? Mm -hmm. I can believe it. The thing to do now is to finish off the froggies for good. The enemy has many reserves, Mr. Hollerstein. The war may be a little bit different from what people think. You're right in the middle of it, Paul. You see your little sector. Sometimes you lose sight of the large picture. The important thing, as I see it, is the breakthrough here in Flanders. This is Frenchy. This is us. What we have to do is come round from the Belgian side and ram through. There's no other way. How can we do that before we beat them on the Hindenburg line? It is borders that are important in this war. Nonsense, you're quite wrong, Barbara. A good soldier never stays planted on a border like a turnip. He advances. I agree with you. Defense is a key to modern warfare. Look what happened in 1870. We're talking about modern warfare, not something that happened 50 years ago. You're lying to me, Paul. I know that you are. I swear to you, he died instantly. You promised me he wouldn't get hurt. Mrs. Kimmish, I never Why promised Why are you it. living then when he is dead? Why? What right have you? Because of fate. Fate was hanging over him. I hope you enjoy this. Before I say what I need to say at the end here, I might be starting a new series today or maybe later called Into the Firestorm Inside the Firestorm I'm not going to go with much details as I don't want to I hear there's what Never mind, we'll fight and fight and win the word from men.